for a little different um kind of video now like I do have videos I do them to review them so in this video I'm going to do like vegan IQ by health IQ a good score can save money on life insurance vegans have 15% lower risk of all cause mortality and 22% lower risk of c colorectal cancer get the rate you deserve and um approved by these okay um dietitians and all that stuff. Anyway, let's do this. I think I saw like an ant on my phone. Alright, here's what we have. I got 18 points. Um, let's see the quizzes. Alright, we can challenge. Oh, there it is. <laughs> let's get it. Alright. Let's see this quiz. Though most people eat fish and dairy for calcium, there are many vegan sources. Which sweetener has the most calcium per serving? I'm going to go with... Is that correct? Yeah, okay, blackstrap molasses. Alright. Oh, that's cool. Alright. Um... Although whole fruit is usually vegan, there is some there is some debate regarding the vegan eligibility of which two fruits. Oh, banana, like, um, figs. Obviously figs, because, like, oh, fig wasps. Figs are partly by a female wasp that gets trapped inside and are broken down by enzymes. New preservatives sprayed on bananas may have shellfish. I know. Um, which of these con condiments from the food chain Qdoba Mexican eats would a vegan want to avoid? Are you kidding me? What kind of question is that? Come on! First of all, that's like a restaurant I I would never eat at. Of course I'm going to get that incorrect. Okay, a 2016 meta-analysis indicated that vegan diets may contribute to decreased risk of what? Cancer. Correct, see? Critical reviews in food science and nutrition found that compared to omnivorous diets, vegan diets had a 15% reduction in total cancer. I mean, seriously, why would you put that on the quiz? First of all, I'm never gonna eat at that restaurant. I've never been there, you know, I'm not informed. No one's talking about that restaurant. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, you know, it's not a popular restaurant. So which of these alcoholic drinks is most likely to contain animal products and therefore is not sus not so suitable for vegans? All right, let's think about it. Um, Get away, you ants. Whoops. And I got that correct, even though I was trying to kill an ant. So, I think the ant for that. Um, cast conditioned alleys. Traditionally use... Ingl okay, fish bladder, yeah. Alright. Shellac, a resin secreted by the eic bug, is used in many home and beauty products. When when used to coat candy, it's called... um, It's called something. I think natural... F oh, wait, no. Oh. Confectioner's glaze, I got it. All right, um, seafood, eggs, and dairy can account for nine of the top ten iodine-rich foods. However, which vegan source is top of the list? Squash. Oh no, sea vegetables. All right, like seaweed. All right. Brown sea vegetables, kelp, and wakame are the best sources of iodine, which plays a critical part in thyroid health. Iodized salt is another option. Um, which of these greens or grain products would a vegan po possibly want to avoid because they are often co they often contain animal drug products? Yeah, wheat bread. I knew it. <laughs> so bread use yeast, which need sugar to activate. And many conventional bakers use honey. Honey is yeah, I know. A 2015. Oh yeah, don't forget like people sometimes bake their breads with eggs and milk, and you know you want to avoid that. Um. A 2015 study found, contra contrary to popular belief, vegan diets do not reduce bone density and are high in what bone-building vitamin? Vitamin K, obviously. I think I'm not going to have enough time to do this. Um, juices are usually vegan, though some contain animal products. Which of these juices is most likely to contain animal products? Um... Wow. I'm gonna go bite the bullet. Oh, I knew it! Orange and apple. 
Let's see why. Many OJ brands fortify omega-3 fatty acids. Often derived from fish stores. And Apple classify, clarify it with in a single glass, a gelatin from fish bladder. Oh, that's how you pronounce it. Vegans consuming a daily serving of green juice should rotate kale or bok choy in, in for spinach due to spinach high level of either phytochemicals or bacteria. Oh, of oxalates. And absorbability of calcium from spinach can be a low, as low as 55% due to oxalates. Low oxalic acid in kale and bok choy calcium is equal to availability of up to 50%. All right. Four left. And I don't think I have enough time. So I recommend this app. It's called Vegan IQ. It has a lot of quizzes to test your knowledge and make you learn a lot. And I definitely recommend it. So you like the video, leave a like, subscribe, and share if you guys can. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.